today we are going to, well my sister is going to teach you guys, all you YouTubers out there, how to draw an elephant. Alright, here we go. Take it away, sis. Okay, first I'm using a paper cup to draw the head. So it's circular, circular. Just chase it. And if not, you can just draw a circle. And then um, you are going to draw an oval for the body. And then you're going to draw the outline of the legs. Just a little stick thing. It's always good to have an eraser with you if you mess up. Most definitely. See here? Nice. Then the next step, you are going to draw the legs now. And at the end, when you have all the elephant drawn, we will erase the lines. And then you need to draw the trunk. So it looks like that. Then you will draw the face, the eyes, the tail, and the back leg. See here, let me zoom out. Nice. And then we're going to draw the ears, the trunk, um, the toes, and the eyeball. <laughs> Big ears, eh? Hmm? Big ears? Yes, very big ears. So, when you're done with the ears, it looks like that. Now, you're going to draw the trunk. Then you're going to draw the lines. 
there for a sec. Isn't that a happy looking elephant, boys and girls? And the toes. You just need to do an M without any... Oh, crap. Without any ends touching. So, kind of like that. Okay, and then... When you're done drawing the elephant, you're going to erase all the lines. So, erase. Not like all the lines, but just the, the indent lines, correct? Yes. Are we going to be coloring it too today? Yes. Excellent. Isn't that a pretty trunk, boys and girls? So pretty. Isn't that beautiful coloring there, boys and girls? So beautiful. Especially the back here you want to shade. Because... Also another tip boys and girls, always make sure that your pencils are sharpened right before you start the project. And when you color, color one way. It looks totally unartistic and very messy if you color a ton of different directions. That's right boys and girls, keep it in a straight line. That pretty elephant raw right air. Makes it look a lot prettier, boys and girls, when you outline it in black. See how much prettier that looks, boys and girls? And if you want to do it in pen, that would be great. What about marker? Would marker work? Um, 
I'm not sure about marker. You could try it. It would probably look very intense, but sure, you can try it. Very deep and dark there, boys and girls, if you use black marker. You stick to the colour pencils, boys and girls. And crayons if you have to. Look at that beautiful elephant head there, boys and girls. Look at those tusks, boys and girls. We eat your life for dinner. Hear that? A dark shade of black, boys and girls. So, when you're done with that, it always looks nice when you put some grass under it. So, for grass, I usually just go like... It doesn't look very pretty at first, but it will look pretty at the end. See it here, boys and girls. Hold up for me. We're gonna get a far view there. Look at that. Very, 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 very pretty, eh, boys and girls. Now we're gonna zoom in. See, look at that beautiful touch. Doesn't that elephant look happy, boys and girls? That elephant looks happy to me. Looks like a very, very happy, jolly elephant. Okay. Thank you, boys and girls. <laughs> 